No, I mean, I think when you talk satellites, there's things up on balloons, but there's nothing orbiting the Earth. You know, I don't think so. so. Yeah, no, nothing floating. There's nothing <laughs> floating out there. No. Nothing floating. It's, and the space station, it's been up there 16 years, going seven, floating, floating <laughs> at 17,000 miles an hour for 16 years, and no one's ever died. And they no footage of any ship docking. There is some, there's a space, there's space shuttle footage, but it's terrible. But oh, nothing it's so bad. Where you, yeah. Have you seen that space shuttle docking with ISF? Oh, man, that those. stuff is so bad. We watch it. My wife and I think it's like a comedy now. I mean, it is so bad. And the fact that people just just eat it up, they just they think it's real just because they well, don't want to. Yeah, it has to be real. They just that they don't want to even think about it not being. Um, and then, you know, what is that? You said 17,500 miles per hour on the ISS. That's 90 football fields in a second. Can you imagine? <laughs> And they send that yeah. year old lady up there. Yeah. We we saw a yeah. F twenty two Falcon, I mean a Raptor, flying above our heads recently. And they say those had to be grounded because the pilots were getting lightheaded and getting, you know, basically knocked unconscious from this plane that barely goes fifteen hundred miles per hour. Yet this old lady who's sixty is going up in a <laughs> rocket, going seventeen thousand five hundred miles per hour, no problems at all, just right up into the space station. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's a different kind of seventeen thousand miles an hour though. It's always a different kind of seventeen thousand miles. And like we're supposed to be, you know, going uh, around the sun at like uh, sixty thousand miles an hour. Yeah. But it, it's not. It's not a regular sixty thousand miles an hour. It's a, right. it's a different kind. It's, a, yeah. it's because the atoms in space in a vacuum <laughs> they don't ionize. Ba 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 ba. And then you they don't. That's why you don't feel the. It's fifteen hundred degrees uh, Fahrenheit in the thermosphere where the International Space Station is floating around at seventeen thousand miles an hour. But it's not the regular kind of. Uh, 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. This, this, this kind of 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, it doesn't get that hot. You don't feel it. You can wear polo shirts because of the ion, ionization of the atoms and it doesn't right. transfer heat or whatever the fuck they're trying to tell people. <laughs> yeah, the meteorites, the micrometeoroids too, those are something, they must be way different than something else going 40,000 miles per hour because pretty sure anything would just go right through you. But, yeah. you know, hey, um, but I do, I, I respect you a lot for when you talk to Joe. Well, here's one thing you can tell him that. I've kind of realized that if you're going to believe in the heliocentric model that we're spinning a thousand miles per hour, we're going 66,000 miles per hour around the sun, then the real truth is you would believe any number they gave you. Right. If they came back tomorrow and said, actually, guys, we made a mistake. It's actually you're going 32 billion miles per hour. You wouldn't have the yeah. you say like, no, and now I don't think so. Because mm -hmm. it's like, no, 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 nothing changes yeah. on Earth because mm -hmm. on Earth we don't feel any of it. Yeah. So it wouldn't make a difference in your life whether you're going 32 billion miles per hour, 66,000 miles per hour, 13. So that's when I realized that these guys just came up with mathematical numbers that worked and they sold it to the populace. Well, I don't they didn't know sell it. They, they um, forced it. Forced it to you. Indoctrination.